Are you working on your sermon? I am. Remember when I was a kid on Saturdays, I would sit in a pew down front and listen to you practice over and over? I do indeed. And then I would clap and you would bow, remember? Well, you seem to have outgrown that. Shaw. What just happened? Did I say something wrong? Your father's had a difficult day. Vi, I can speak for myself. Ariel, why don't you go set the table? I'm not really hungry. Shaw, if you're angry with Ariel, please tell her why. I'm not angry. I'm concerned. But then get to the point. You two speak and nothing gets said. Have you seen her with this Chuck Cranston? The last time I walked in on the two of them. You told me. The boy has a record of arrests, Vi. And the more you object, the more intrigued she's going to be. So I should hold my peace? I do. And I pray that her infatuation with Chuck Cranston will last no longer than mine with Elliot Criswell. Elliot Criswell was not an overheated delinquent. Oh, he most certainly was. This is not funny. I'm just trying to lighten the mood. Well, I can't. I'm frightened about where Ariel is, what she's doing. You can't expect her to sit in with us. Let's stop this conversation right here. Conversation? Bye. I seem to have walked in on one of your sermons. Please, let's not say anything we might regret. Where is she? She told me that she was going to Wendy Joe's. <laughs> Don't bother. She's not there. Did you know this? I did not. So how does it feel, Vi, now that she's lying to you? I'm not saying anything until I hear an explanation from her. It was frightening enough when she was running around with Chuck Cranston. Now she's out in the middle of the night with that punk who's campaigning to challenge me and the entire town council. How long can you keep defending her? I'm not defending her. We're not on opposite sides here, are we? Or are we? Where were you? Oh, Rusty and Wendy Joe and me, we were... Don't even bother. We know you weren't at Wendy Joe's. I can't believe you're checking up on me. Sweetie, how do we know you're not sick or hurt? I'm concerned for your well-being. Then how come when I'm at home, you're never interested in what I'm thinking or how I feel? But the minute I walk out that door, when? Suddenly you're the concerned parent. Shaw, she didn't mean that. Stop taking her side. She has to start answering for herself. I don't know what good that would do. You don't listen to me any more than you listen to her. Shaw! I've never hit anyone. I know. We're losing her, Vi. She's become willful and obstinate. Like her father. I'm her spiritual guardian. You used to be her friend. I don't understand what's happening. I, I don't know what to do anymore. Yes, you do.